Hello, and welcome to Microsoft's Cost Management Learning Series. My name is Matt Zanhain, and I'm a product manager on the cost management team. Today, I will be introducing one of our most powerful reporting tools, Cost Analysis. Let's get started. We are looking at the cost analysis tool on the cost management page of the Azure portal. Cost analysis should be your first stop in the Azure portal when it comes to understanding what you're spending and where you're spending it. Cost analysis will help you visualize and analyze your organizational costs, share those insights with others, and compare your spend against the budgets you created. To access this tool, start on the cost management overview page in the Azure portal. Open the Reporting and Analytics dropdown and select Cost Analysis. You will be greeted with a new tab for sharing your costs where you have the option of looking at your recent views or any of the available options. Let's start by looking at one of the smart views we have created for you, such as the service view. As you can see, this view allows you to see the costs associated with your deployments by service type and identify top contributors. In this case, that would be Series D virtual machines. You can see the total costs so far this month, as well as the average per day. For historical review, you can adjust the period you are looking at by clicking the date filter and selecting from the dropdown or by creating a custom time period. Now let's create some personalized views to see the cost data in a way that works best for your needs. To do that, I will open another tab in cost analysis and select one of the customizable views, accumulated costs. This view allows you to visualize your cost data in a variety of ways. By default, you will see an area chart by daily spend, as well as pie chart breakdowns. Cost is shown as actual cost or raw usage cost from Azure, but it can also be pivoted by amortized cost, which breaks reservation purchases down and spreads them over the lifetime of the term. Additionally, when you are in the current month, you can see the forecasted cost for the current period. Similar to smart views, you can adjust the time period with the date filter, but you can also slice and dice your data by adding filters for a particular product, tag, or subscription. These filters can be stacked sequentially on top of each other for precise cost data. You may also adjust the chart to fit your needs. Costs can be grouped by any of the same filtering dimensions, such as product, subscription, or tag. The granularity of the data can be adjusted to accumulated or daily, for example. Additionally, the entire visualization can be changed to a line or a column chart or even a tabular breakdown. These are the basic capabilities of cost analysis, which will allow you to explore and understand your Azure spend. To learn more about the advanced features, such as sharing or subscribing to a view, please watch our follow up video. Thank you for watching and learning about the cost analysis tool. Hopefully, you now feel confident to investigate your Azure costs all on your own. As always, for more information, please feel free to visit the Microsoft Learn documentation online or watch some of our related videos. Thank you and have a nice day.